Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are gonna be taking apart the HP EliteBook 830G5. Why are we gonna do this? It's because my battery is going bad, so while I'm at it, I might as well show you how to open this thing and upgrade it. Okay, so these are actually pretty simple to work on. We're gonna go ahead and turn this around so you can see. That's the laptop on the back. These are all going to be Phillips screws. And there's gonna be one there, 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 one in here, one in here, one in the middle, and two at the front. So we're gonna start out with the ones in the back. These come halfway off. They don't actually come fully off. Loosen that, loosen that one. We go in and loosen these here. Okay. We got one in the middle up here. See how they, they don't actually come off. Got one in the bottom middle area. Let's see if that one comes off. That does not come off. And then we have two in the front. Let's see if those come off. There go. There's another one and that does not come off. Okay, the next step is to pry this open. So usually with HPs, I actually like to start at the top. Try to see if I can get in there. One way or another, it should open. Let's try here. We actually have a little gap here because this is a, a pre-used unit. Work our way around. I'll actually go back to the back. Work my way to the back here. All right, put it down. Once the back is open, I'm gonna go ahead and just pry and wiggle. All right, there is our system in its entirety. So, while you're in here, this is where your NVMe SSD is gonna go. There's one screw that holds it. This is where your RAM is gonna go. If you ever wanna upgrade your RAM, just these two little clips here, just separate them. That should pop up. That comes out. You replace your RAM. And there you go. For me, I'm actually here for the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this battery off. To take the battery off, we are going to need a Torx T9H from our iFixit kit. So we'll switch to that. And we are gonna be taking out these screws here. One, two, three, four, and five. And to get this out, we're just gonna simply lift, slide forward, and then this is gonna be slightly loose. We're gonna to try to grip under the cables and then pull to the right. And that should come right off. And there's the battery. Isn't that cool? And this is what I'm actually replacing. Once you're done, you put your other battery back in. Push that back in as so. You're gonna slide the bottom part first. Oh, the computer turned off. We don't wanna work on it like that. That's something that does happen. All right, now that it's off, we're back. To good standing we don't want to work on a laptop that has power going through it and it's currently on so if that happens to you definitely turn it off first and there you have it that has changed this is how you change your ram nvme is held on by this one little phillips head screw here and we'll, we're going to take that off just for the sake of showing you it's going to pop up like this and then just slide outward it's out then when you're ready, put it back in at an angle, slide in, and then push down and put your screw in. Now all we have to do is put our back panel back on. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope this video was very helpful to you. To see more content like this that can help others, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does help out the channel. Thank you again. Take care of yourself and your family. Peace.